Okay, now we are actually going into game three despite this is the f despite the fact that this is the actual first pick band phase I've done so far. So we are going to get this underway hopefully. Currently says everybody's disconnected. Yeah, there we go. So first band coming out thresh. Uh, fairly typical. You see that a lot. Oh, let's see if I can get anybody to join me. Anivios are casting all fairly typical picks, except the Anivia that might be. I'm assuming that she's going to be aimed at the blue team here. Just somebody they want to take out, somebody they really don't want to deal with. So that is actually coming out. And again, casting. Just, he's a champion nobody wants to deal with. That's fairly commonly. It's a fairly common opinion. And Blitzcrank as well. Uh, Looks like we're not going to see any Mad Life, no Hook City, unfortunately, in this game. Sadly enough, it's always fun to watch the ridiculous uh, plays that come with that. And actually, Shin getting taken out with the last ban, uh, and then Jarvan getting picked up. I'm going to see him in the jungle. Ooh, and Corgi actually made it through, so that's going to be the first Corgi we're going to see of the tournament, I think? No, kind of depend. I don't know if any of the other games he's been playing yet. To my knowledge, he's not, and actually they're going to pick up the Sona as well. So Sona Corky, very, very strong uh, bot lane, huge amounts of focus, especially level 6, a lot of uh, control as well. And Caitlyn getting picked up, possibly getting looked at as a Corky counter, going to abuse that early, early range until he gets the uh, rockets. And Ari as well getting picked up, so they're going to look for that assassin, try and probably look to pick just Corky out or just blow up the support. Something like that makes somebody disappear from the map. And, ooh, interesting. They're sitting on Kill at the moment. Uh, Zed is actually open. It's gotten all the way through so far. Ari getting picked instead of Zed. And the purple team, they could pick that up for themselves. The Zed-Ari matchup is actually kind of difficult for both of them. Neither one of them has a, a really easy time because Ari can just slip away. Zed can be Zed and make people just explode in a cloud with their own blood. But actually, they're still they're sitting on the uh, tail end. up. Oh, they're going to switch over to Karthus after the last second. So Karthus, Nocturne, looking for a lot of ganking presence coming from the jungle and Karthus as well. He, he's got that global presence. He's going to be a huge uh, Rex, as he gets level 6, to be able to uh, <laughs> support his team all in and up. And Renekton getting picked up, and uh, Ali as well getting uh, set on right now. She's going to do really well with Caitlyn. She can put the, I believe it's called Titan Blessing, the auto attack debuff, where it applies the slow, gives her uh, bonus movement speed to the Caitlyn. Got that massive tsunami that's got the ridiculous elixir range that kind of just like crashes all the way across the map and knocks people up and does really no damage at all. But uh, they're both sitting on these picks, so this is probably what we're going to see. Yep, the Redecton actually gets locked in, and so really the only thing left here is the Nami. And they're going to continue to. Oh, 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 yep, there it goes, gets locked in. So. They are looking for a top layer for this pump team right now. They've got uh, a huge number of options actually. They've got the jacks. It is open. I don't think I want to play that. And they're actually sitting on Garen. Uh, that's actually an interesting pickup. He's one of the few champions that can really. He actually is a really big bully. And even more so than Renekton, he's got that execute. Because of the way Renekton's ultimate works, he gains more health, so if he's at low health, pops his ultimate. Uh, 
much as me and Garen does more damage. Let's continue to sit on Garen and switched over to Nasus. And the questionable matchup is Nasus. If it's a tanky really quick, he might actually do well enough against Renekton. Get a bunch of early armor. And actually, nope, they're going to go with a Yorick pick, actually. So we're going to get this loaded up soon, and we will be back shortly. So we are loading up now. Yes, we are. And let's see who's got the skin advantage. I always love to talk about that. But always the most important. Well, I, actually, no. Team 4 skin automatically wins. Yeah, if they've got that. <laughs> and already, nope, top top team, the blue team doesn't have it. Ooh. Oh, no, they've only got the three. Oh, yeah. That's depressing. Right, we got three skins all around. Yeah. How do you so, feel about these teams? Uh, just looking at them together, the purple team has a major team fight advantage, but the blue team has a lot of playmaking, and they've got the lane dominance. Yeah, I would agree. Caitlyn Nami is just too good. I wonder. I was actually thinking. I mean, you don't see the two v one swaps too often anymore, but that is a good two v one lane to begin with. So uh, yeah, the York pick is interesting. Um, it could potentially work out for them. It, yeah, it'll kind of depend on how Renekton handles it. I, I think that lane does go to Renekton. Yeah, because he's just a lane bully. Yeah, he's uh, York used to be the epitome of the lane bully, but after so many nerfs, he's kind of just fallen off compared to a lot of the other bruisers, and his itemization isn't quite as clean as Renekton's. True. But Both we... good teams. I think, I don't know, the purple team doesn't really lack a whole lot of synergy, in my opinion. It's kind of, yeah. they just kind of pick champions I think they're good with, and they kind of like piece it together. I think the blue side has definitely got the the advantage in terms of like actual like synergy yeah they they have i, I like the um the nami jarvan combination yes. that that's a lot of aoe cc on top of the already strong nari the ari pick yeah Ari's gonna be able to completely delete one of the carries from the uh, purple team pretty much no matter where she goes she'll be able to duel out but oh. we have the blue team actually looking for a red side invade they could actually end up catching out you little Mr. York there yeah York is actually he doesn't have vision here nobody's expecting this and actually we have alright no nope. So... Nope. they're oh. just they're just gonna back up they don't Mr. want Warrior, any of this <laughs> yeah, so nothing's that's impressive gonna... on his part though yeah that, that spidey sense is tingling <laughs> yeah. he, he knows something's up he's not quite sure what's going on they have no vision of everything he's playing it smart though and bot lane, they did back out, so they're just gonna head on bot uh, down to the bottom. But you do have two v one swap. Looks like you're just gonna be like standard lanes. Yep. That corky pick though, always strong. And they're moving now. Uh, Renekton and Ari, neither of them have actually uh, specked out their skills yet. But York did see them out, so he's just going to go ahead and get out of there. And I don't, th yeah, I don't think he got seen either so he is actually going to be safe and they're just uh, going to deny this blue buff <laughs> but down here on the bot lane they're just going to trade red buffs <laughs> alright after all that red buff trade at, at Nami is like what, what's going on oh the Draven Ward that, that's fabulous let's just zoom in on that oh that's uh -oh. that's glorious I like how the hair and the beard wave in the wind just kind of just flutters in the wind that, that, that's, that, that's fabulous. Oh, oh, a lot of damage actually going out, and the bubble gets missed by um, Nami there, and Caitlyn trading back a lot of damage. Ooh, here comes Nocturne coming in from behind. Oh, and Caitlyn needs to get nice. out of there. She needs the flash. flash. And Ooh, there she and gets it. Oh, no. They're going to be able to do it. Oh! Really good bubble. Yeah, that perfect bubble saving Caitlyn's life completely. And, ooh, Jarvan. Is he going to be able to make anything happen? He wants to come from behind. This is very, very dangerous, though. Yeah, I you know if that's a smart move on his part. I think he's just scoping it out. Collinson's kind of playing that on passive. Yep, he might actually... Yeah, I don't think he saw that... Noct I don't think he had vision on Nocturne, but he is actually going to get this blue buff clean. Hopefully, he might be able to book it across the map and pick up his own. So. Yeah, top lane's looking pretty good on, in terms of York until he runs out of mana. Obviously, uh, that that's going to be kind of the deciding factor is how well York manages his mana. 
As soon as his life still goes away, he's, he's fucked. Oops. Yeah, Re Renekton does have that advantage, doesn't have the mana he has to worry about, so he's going to be able to... Hopefully that's when the, uh, the pain will kick in, is when <laughs> York drives himself in. And he's really abusing the ghouls right there, and he's just putting them out continuously, and yeah. But they're, he's they're secretly curious. feeding Renekton now, because now the ghouls give you a goal. <laughs> They they do. That's another reason I'm kind of surprised by the York pick. He's kind of been unfavorable recently, especially because of that. And yep, Renekton getting that five gold yep, from the five gold, gold money money. <laughs> I, I I I still want to see the the farmer Nassus lane. If you ever see the York pick up, I used yeah. to love doing that. And now you get bonus gold from it. What's not to like? True. All right. And Nocturne making his way up on top. You've got pings going down. On to the yeah, no top wars. lane. Neither of them. I don't them. know if York has enough mana to really do. Oh, ooh, there goes the slice and dice in. He's going there in, and Renekton's actually burned. Oh. <laughs> oh, and the fear onto the minion. But, the but red he... buff, though. Red buff is going it. down. Yep, Renekton can't. Yeah. That fear. Yep. That, that was minion. kind of set. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, what's going on? Oh, oh, this is not good. And. That, that's, that's dead knocker. It's a fade away. That is <laughs> the third Jarvan first blood I've seen tonight. Yep. And and each one has been a chaos. It's it's quite entertaining <laughs> to watch. Hey, that that armor plate. <laughs> no, seriously, it, it's they flash for it. They get the last hit and they clean it up every time. Even when because they'll have like a knight ticking down on the, the person who yep. dies and it's it, it's quite lane tags. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. But York does have his tier now, so he's gonna be set for mana for the most part. He did burn teleport to make sure he gets all of that um, CS there. And Corky and Sona getting shoved to the tower, actually. And Caitlyn just continuing to push up. I'm kind of surprised Nocturne hasn't made his way back yeah. down here yet. Especially since he got the flash and the, the barrier the, from Caitlyn. He yeah. needs to work soon. Uh... Yep, Caitlyn's barrier is going to be up soon, but her flash still, still has there. about two minutes left on that that six minute cooldown, if I remember correctly. But Corky is CSing fairly well under tower. He's actually ahead of Caitlyn at this point, which is surprising. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of astounded by that, because that that's the whole point of pushing up is to try to deny CS, and uh, Corky doing a very good job to manage his uh CS right there. And... This, this mid lane is just going to be a farm lane. <laughs> yep, and so. Nocturne taking some pain. And I mean, Ari will be able to delete champions from the map, but Karthus is going to scale so much harder into the late game. That is yeah. really not something that this uh, blue team wants to have to deal with, is a late game Karthus. I feel like that's what they're trying to get to, though, in this opinion, because Kaylin's late game is pretty weak compared to Corky's. Yeah, and... she, she has that lull right after her first major item. Yeah, mid game is terrible on Kate. Yeah, she can siege, but that's really about it. Yep. And trading damage up in the top lane, Renekton jumping in using the Fury Empowered Call the Meek. Gonna heal up just a little bit, but he's just going to dice right back out. What's this J4 gonna do next? Let's see what he's got. Uh, he might be oh, making nice. movements towards uh, right mid lane. Yep, no, no. And not going in. Into... gonna ping that out too. All right, there they go. And they know he's there, however, York is busy fighting in the top lane. Both these guys have their ultimates right now. Uh, and there's the Renekton ultimate. Oh, and he has a fight of that. Uh, and, oh. Yep, that's, that's another kill. He does have the ultimate, but I think Renekton's going to be safe. Yeah, he's... Yeah. yeah, that's... That was a Renekton beat. Uh, Renekton <laughs> played that very well. Ooh, Nocturne's gonna look to try and smite steal this out. This is a, a smite war here. Jarvan needs to lead it into this bush. Oh, oh, and he actually got it despite missing the smite. But Ari is in the air. Oh, Nocturne, no, what are you doing? Oh, he should have just smited and just ran like the dickens. And then this bottom lane, Corky got poked down. I didn't even see what happened. Uh, That's a I, massive that just went down. Yep, he's dropped very, very low. Oh, he's still up on Kate too. Mm, he needs to be very careful. Yep. 
he's uh, this he's is also you, okay no. this is something i've seen a lot too is the laners getting greedy this happened uh the game before this one that i casted the game where me yeah the one where the mirrors yeah the varus and the renekton renekton gave up like two kills easy just because he just stay for the experience and see if... uh, yeah I mean, he had teleport. I don't remember if it was up at the time, but he could have gotten back in a hell of a lot easier. Oh, and that ward got taken out. And they're trying to make something happen here. Blue team, they do have the advantage right now. They're warding really well. Nocturne Ooh. hasn't really been able to make anything happen, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh, Jarvis steals it away with the smite. Oh, oh, they had that ward on it, and... This poor Nocturne is just getting uh, shut good. down so hard. And Nocturne's one of those champions, kind of, I mean, by the looks of it, he's, like, he's just going to tank for this team, but I mean, he's gonna it's going to get delayed so much with Jarvan already has the already huge innate, you know, tankiness as well as Renekton. They have a really good front line. And a lot of damage actually yeah. going forward. Oh. No, it's not. It wouldn't kill her, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. It'd just be a waste. And he knows it. He's not going to burn it. Yeah. But down in this bot lane, unfortunately, Corky needs to either just go back and let the turret fall yeah. or something because here comes Jarvan and Sona might actually get caught out here. Yep, Jarvan going in and there's the red buff. She's going to flash over. Uh, Jarvan just be... follows immediately. And there's the ultimate. And yep, and there it goes. Exhaust too. She just just sort of sat there. <laughs> yeah, honestly, she should have just taken the death and kept her flash and smite and uh, exhaust. Good capitalization but... here. Looks like they're really gonna try to do it. Yep, there you go. Yep, that's gonna be first dragon. dragon. And I mean, you've already got the three k gold, the three uh, thousand gold advantage to your blue team before this dragon. This is gonna put them even further into the driving seat. And they might actually just drop down and pick up the uh, tower as well. Yeah, I know. they could. They could easily. Well, it looks like Renekton's going to back. I mean, Caitlyn and Nami could easily do it. They got a little wave, though. Corky might be able to come back. And yeah, the, uh... he sh she should make it back just in time to keep them from shoving too hard. Corky's still doing pretty good on CS, though, compared to Kate, despite being on turret and being so far pushed back on the turret as well. So. Yeah, especially with the amount of presence that... um. Jarvan's had down in the spot lane. Cork is doing a very good job to keep this uh, keep this alive, more or less. Yeah. It, it's going to come down to him and uh, Karthus really just in yeah. the late game, trying to beat them out. And I mean, they do have the York ultimate on Corky, which is going to be just scary, not something you want to deal with. But, no point. <laughs> exactly. But we'll see if they're able to actually pull this off. And... Uh, I mean, it's it's a support and a jungler that they've been killing out. It's not like the carries have actually fallen behind that much. Karthus yeah. is pretty much even with um, Ari, despite Ari, the yeah. one kill she picked up on Nocturne. So that's not going to be a huge deal. And York, he he really unfortunately just becomes an ulti bot late game. Yeah, oh, I but... mean, he's, all, he's pure utility. So, I mean, looks like he's going to make it out of that one, though. I mean, he's going to have to go back. See, I don't know why people do this. They... Uh, I guess he's trying to bait the. I mean, Nocturne's not gonna be able to do anything to that right now. Yeah, oh. unfortunately. And here comes. Oh, wait a second. Uh, no, nope, he flashes uh, out at the last second. And oh, here comes the ultimate. That's not gonna be enough. Ooh. Yep. And, and then we got in bottom. Got picked up kills. So. Yep. Soda fell again. Unfortunately, she's squish midden. Yeah, unfortunately. And this is kind of going to become the name of this game I feel where the support the jungler and top lane are just going to get picked on they're just going to ignore the other two because unfortunately at this point I don't think they're going to be able to scale up enough oh, and oh there. Jarvan coming from behind actually uh, there you go yeah, he's actually going smart. to <laughs> going to let his <laughs> laner pick up the kill this time uh, good guy, Jarvan. finally giving up a kill and their bot lane turret finally goes down after 13 minutes of more or less being shoved up. See what they do here. They, I don't know if they're going to stay bot or they're going to try to do a rotation and try to pick up something else and wreck them bot lane. Well, with. Really switch. Oh, they're actually just going to Ooh. pick up yet another oh, right. kill on the Sona. Oh, Corky picking up a kill though. 
On, they're on the board. They are on the board. Uh, they finally picked up their first kill of the game. Corky actually taking Jarvan down, of all yeah, people. That's a good goal. Yep. Uh, he actually didn't get the shutdown, unfortunately. Uh, He's one kill away from that. But, yep. Corky and... It's like Corky and Karthus are really the two they need kills on. And Corky getting a kill, that's a start. They're, they're making roads to actually get into it. And actually, the bubble catching York out. And he's just gonna fight this. Ooh, uh, yep. And there's the R. That's that's not good. That's it. And yet another really really beautiful bubble coming across, securing it another kill. And Corky and Sona, they need to be careful. This three-man bot lane unit right now. You've got Jarvan heading in already. On top of the Renekton and having to, or the Nocturne just having to sit on top. And yeah, and deal with this Renekton who's just been split pushing. Yeah. Renekton's such a powerful champion right now. He's probably, like, in my opinion, he's one of the strongest top problems. laners. And he always makes it through pick ban too, because you have to get you have to get rid of Shin more or less. To get rid of Shen, you have to get rid of your assassins, and then he just kind of falls to whatever champion. I mean, if you look at Worlds, the way they were trending, I mean, it was, I mean, he 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 won every almost every single game he was played in. Yeah, he's it, such a good lane bully that he's just able to make it to mid and late game. His late game, he does fall off a little bit though. Yeah, but at that point, he just becomes a meat shield. Yeah. And Jarvan going man little, mode here. Little, little, yeah. <laughs> right, so was, I mean, purely for the turret. I don't know if it's a little miscommunication if he's trying to get something, but in the end, I mean. They came out of like a winner here. They're yeah. Almost 10k up. This is looking a little, little meek for uh, Purple Sad. Yeah, they're really just. They've kind of gotten shut down across the board. And a lot of that comes from Jarvan and the fact that just, they've been picking on these really. A really, really squishy lineup from the Purple team. Like, yeah. between Sona, Karthus, and York, there's really no, like, innate tank out of all of them. And even Nocturne, he's not an innate tank. You just. No, he has to build tanky just to be tanky. Right, and I mean that—that's the media's build that you just you stack tankiness and just kind of sit in the middle just of a team fight. Yeah. yeah, but unfortunately, this Nocturne got shut down really hard early, and he hasn't been farming too great. Uh, so he just—he hasn't really been able to do anything. And uh, <laughs> is that a ping on the Baron I just saw? Yeah, I mean honestly, I mean the way. I Baron's kind of like a noob magnet. Like it, it can make or break some games if they, if they get a little cocky. Yeah, I, I'm curious if this team is far enough ahead to do it though. Yeah, I mean they are. I mean it's still really early. Yeah, but... And they are awfully low level, despite you know Renekton being level 12. They're really sitting on this. They're thinking about it. Yeah, he, yep, yeah. they're they're gonna Why go not? for it. All uh, right. Baron only has a level thousand, eleven thousand health, but Jarvan is taking just huge amounts of pain right now. Yeah, there goes the ultimate, and he's kind of treating himself like a Nasus. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have that percent damage that Nasus yeah. does. That's what makes Nasus so good at securing buffs like this. But I think they're actually gonna get it. Renekton's just gonna be he's tanky enough. They're trying to trade off the, um, yeah, the damage goes. there, and there it goes. Renekton <laughs> tanking that up and. <laughs> Nocturne coming in at the last second there. Yeah, this is like, aww. Uh, that, mo yeah, that moment when you realize that the entire team is MIA and you don't have a ward on Baron. I mean, honestly, that was a really early Baron, but I mean, they took advantage of it. I mean, and they're just going to profit off it. They're going to get another dragon. This this gold lead's just not, you know, there's no gaps. There's, there's, it's an 11,000 gold lead at 17 minutes in. Yeah. 9 to 1. It, it's not a huge kill game, but they've made a lot of uh, moments. Oh, and a really good Sona good. ultimate, actually. Really a lot of damage across. And here uh, comes uh, York in. But Nocturne gets taken out. And Karthus. Both Karthus and Corky are just sitting in back lane. They've been given free current. And there goes Corky. Trying to get the damage down Ooh, onto her. Karthus is boom. That's yeah. so sad. <laughs> oh, that, that's, <laughs> that's depressing. Uh, he could have picked up too. And it looks like ooh, Jarvan sitting back here on top of a ward. Though they know he's here, they're just gonna get out of here. They, yeah, they, they don't, need to they be don't careful. Mess with it. I mean, that regen on him right now is just oh, look at this. Uh... Oh, 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 oh he just <laughs> barely got out. <laughs> he didn't throw the flag on top. <laughs> oh, that was so so close. <laughs> Corky. His chest is probably just 
beating really hard right now. That was extremely close. And he's the only one who's positive. He is sitting at 1-0 right now <laughs> for his team. Yeah, the, the game is on his back. Yep. It, it, it's up to Corky. And Nocturne trying to be a man here, going in hard onto Renekton. But Corky's here, got his back, putting out plenty of damage. Alright, come on. You can... Oh, but that Sunfire, he just... Corky does not have the ability. Yeah, he just can't beat through all that armor yet. Even with... Oh, he doesn't have, he doesn't have training completed, so... Yeah, unfortunately. Except early. Yeah, I mean, he needed that Probably sustain. For the sustain, yeah. I mean, that's like one of the best things for Caitlyn, like going against a Caitlyn. Just as yeah. long as you have sustain, you're able to sit on turret. Oh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, though, Sona just got... Shit, like that. Uh... <laughs> Pretty much. There's really no other way to put it. And that's where Caitlyn got, like, all of her kills, was from just picking on Sona, unfortunately. Yeah. And there is the fifth tower of the game, increasing this to a 15,000 gold lead at 19 minutes. Oh, there, there. <laughs> there are the wards. Th those those Draven bait. wards. It's a bait. It's a bait. <laughs> oh, those wards are fabulous. And actually, they're going for a team fight really early on. Corky just trying to get out of there. He's going to get knocked up. Renekton going man mode in. There's the ultimate. And Karthus is going to get dropped in the middle of the team fight. Jarvan wants this Corky. Corky going to j jump out and see if they're able to actually pick up any more kills. Nope. Nope. Gonna do this. That's a double tower dive, and 20 minutes, I would be really surprised if we didn't see a surrender here. We're stranded! <laughs> <laughs> Jarvan can get out, oh, Caitlyn can get out, and yep, there they go. But we're actually not seeing the uh, the GG's quite yet, so yeah. this is a little bit surprising actually. The yep, they're, they're gonna hard mode uh, this. and. Uh, uh. Oh my lord, Nocturne just getting completely chunked down by Ari. She's got so much ability power so early on. Uh, she's already sitting on 300 ability power, that's kind of ferocious. Yeah, BFG. Profit, pretty much. Yeah, she can just kind of delete somebody from the map at this point. They're just all so big. This is... Actually, it's not... There's no way that I don't think this can... Uh, I mean, this is on the blue team to lose this completely. Like, they would have to throw so hard. Yeah. Probably like AFK for, you know, 15, uh, say 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, they could still probably come back and win, unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, unfortunately, it kind of comes down to the fact that, that Nocturne pickup has been a little bit questionable. The York pickup especially. Oh! And Corky finally gonna go down, getting just taken down by the unstoppable Ari there, and... Ooh! Is Karthus gonna get his first oh. kill? Oh! Karthus gets a yeah. kill! Getting the shutdown that. goal. Back in the game. <laughs> you, you never know. They, they could just go on like a killing spree right now and just <laughs> start wrecking. Five men hunt. Five man gank squad. Pretty much, I mean, honestly, it's... At this point, trying to make your KDA a little prettier. <laughs> this is all about padding the stats at this point. We'll see if they actually, like, try to close the game out, or if they want to just stretch it out as long as possible. Strangle them. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did say in lobby that they had to be somewhere early, so let's see how long they... <laughs> Yeah, Renekton dropping yeah. the Corky's health really, really quickly, like all things considered. Mm. I mean, this is all versus Renekton's almost at the point. As I don't know if you watched, live, remember last game with that Shen. Yeah, I this, mean, it's is... it, that was like an 11 2 Shen that just yeah. <laughs> kind of destroyed the um, enemy team, but. Renekton is getting to that point. He's got 200 farm compared to York's 195. Yeah. Or 95. 95. <laughs> to 195. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to say. But it's it's just a massive, massive lead for this blue team. And you need to take a look at this one, the Nami with the cutlass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's nice. She, she's got to get that slow. Yep. That's what's how you know. <laughs> It's all about that slow. I mean, she is zero zero ten, which is yeah. like perfect support score. 
but we might actually see our first full team fight and Renekton jumping in on top and there goes the Jarvan ultimate. Everybody's just gonna flash out Nocturne getting trapped in. Good. That was a good sun hole. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. Uh, ooh, they've uh, actually got a lot of damage. Renekton finally takes one down. Corky, the ghost, got caught out. Up. And Renekton, Renekton diving down. in, getting taken down by Karthus. And Karthus flashing oh. forward. Oh, here comes the Caitlyn ultimate. Oh, the dodge? Oh, still not giving enough. He so might be able to get yep. the ultimate. We got the Ari. Ah, unfortunately, go. that was just the Ari. And now you've got the three-man unit for him. The blue team still remaining. Nocturne is coming back in. Unfortunately, he doesn't have ultimate. He doesn't have really anything to contest with so this could be the game right here and nope they're, they're going to back off back up maybe another burn oh, no. they're going the to game. yeah they're going to try and push down the start maybe get a second inhibitor and that will more or less be the end of the game if they get yeah. that inhibitor i think they might they actually get, have to back off they though they get far side inhib that's a free baron essentially as uh, this, this jarvan just Making the plays. Yeah. Mm. Well, on the way back, pick up a dragon. Yeah. And York is going to teleport top. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a little bit late because Renekton's already up there matching him. And blue team getting their third, I believe it's the third dragon yeah, of the game. Third dragon of the game. And everybody's just backing. Gonna go clean up. Might as well call GG's now. That nine's about to get bored. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> and Renekton actually turning the ultimate on. Um, honestly, this is probably a, this is a dead dead York. Yep. Yeah, there's the ignite, yeah. and yep, there it goes. <laughs> Dominus just ticking, 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 dead. Sunfire ignite. Oh, uh, there's the DFG coming on a Sona. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is what you call rape. <laughs> Oh lord, that was painful to watch. And Nami actually getting her first kill at some point. I missed that one. Yeah. And they are just roaming through the jungle here. And Why is no, uh, oh, there's there's the, there's the ping on the Baron. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? It's Renekton's big. Yeah, Renekton is tanky, and I mean, hell, Jarvan's tanky enough that. Uh, oh, he's, he's gonna waste. Yeah, he's gonna waste all of his health just trying to tank Baron by himself. But there's the shield from Locket and Renekton and Jarvan just gonna trade. Aggro. Quirky uh -huh. is in the area. Uh -huh. Close. Oh, oh my lord, that damage. Yeah. And they can't even do anything still. And Jarvan just jumping on top of York. See you later, York. Too. Yeah. Corky did manage to survive and get out, but up oh, there's the pings onto the enemy base, and this is going to be the final push. As it should. I mean. Uh, and just... they're just trying to stack the CC on top of Renekton, not gonna get it. Nope. Better see you later. Bye, Sona, for the eighth time. Yeah. And interesting enough. Nami actually doesn't get the ultimate down, and <laughs> Renekton tanking both Nexus turrets. Gotta get out of there. And here comes Corky! Corky to Bobo! Oh! oh! <laughs> and he survives! With like 10 health. That's backbreaking. Uh, that's, that's, that's a little bit sad, unfortunately. Caitlyn chilling in the sea of Draven boards. Oh, it's, it's what it is. It's the, um... It's something on Reddit yeah, where yeah, the, uh, the, oh, what is it, the, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. the, sh the, shrine the shrine where you just, you dance on their grave with the Draven Wards. <laughs> I mean, it's essentially a tea bag. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> it, it'd be better if they actually had Draven doing it, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, this is... All three inhibitors are gone now. This is this is the game. Jeez, that was good. I mean, that that was an impressive win. Yeah, it was very very controlled. Blue team, they never, they they took the lead and never lost it. It's easy enough to say that. And so, purple team, uh, they're trying to hold on here as both, <laughs> and the blue team just going back.
secret strat. What they did is they let all their hits come down, so they're just gonna get fed off of pretty much like waves upon waves. Yep, gotta farm up them super minions, yo. <laughs> totally not gonna just push the base down and die. <laughs> But Renekton just farming more minions, padding the stats. And, uh, Corky farming. Corky's done a good job this game to actually yeah. just stay caught up with Caitlyn, despite the fact that she's gotten all of the kills. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a... I mean, Corky played a solid game. And I mean, Karthus did as well. He picked up a number of kills, and unfortunately, Top lane, the jungle, and Sona just, they got picked on. They yep. got targeted out, and they just got stomped over and over and over and over and over. And I mean, none of them are really worth gold, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. Renekton's going 1v5 and winning. It's never something you want to see. Now Caitlyn's just going to beat these turrets down, and we've been saying this for a while, but that's game. <laughs> and continuing to pad the stats. Yep. Oh, they got the Ari. And there, there goes Gam. So, blue team kind of stomped that game, but that was Gam, guys. Thank you for watching the video. We will talk to you next time. Yeah.